Hello everyone. What's up? What's happening? It's part two of the first video. We're having a little coffee today. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, now that's good. Got me a little almond milk creamer, a little vanilla flavor almond milk creamer. And that's it. No sugar, and there's not much sugar in there, like five milligrams, I think. Not much sodium either, like 10 or 20 milligrams. So, yeah, what's up? Back to y'all. How my partner's doing out there? Y'all, I see this blunt already rolled. This is a joint from the last video. I realized I put it down. I came back to it. I'm like, boom. I got a little joint roll, so wanna tune back in. Mm-hmm. Smoke. The common nerves a little bit. I ain't as hyper as I was earlier. Even though we can't get crunk in this bitch, don't get me wrong. But I had a lot of drooling because I guess I was just excited about being on here. And I love when I have a message to tell. Like, sometimes I get on here and I just be like, what the fuck am I about to talk about? Or what the fuck was I saying? Or get done talking like the subject was coming back to back. So if you missed my video I, did, I um, aired previously to this, you need to go check it out. It's a little something in there. It's a little something. It is a little something that is not one subject uh, content video. It's, you know multiple subjects multiple topics have multiple points that i'm bringing up you know nothing really structured you know what i'm saying nothing really planned out i kind of like to wing it you know what i mean so mm. i hate what i do to have two marks where my lipstick is i could only i need to only drink it like one side okay <laughs> I don't like to have a bunch of lip prints all around my cup. Mm -mm. Just one little area. And I, I, seen, I seen I had caught myself in the camera because I can see, you know, what I'm doing on here. If you didn't know, if you don't have YouTube, which I think by almost, you know what I'm saying? A lot of majority of people is um, leaning towards YouTube. There's a lot more YouTube content creators. And my thing is this, like, don't be ashamed. Or embarrassed to have a YouTube channel. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like I said in my last video, it's no longer YouTube. It's they tube. And I, I, I just talk like that sometimes. I ain't put on no sixes, trust me. But now it's 43 degrees. How the fuck it get to 43 degrees? It was just 36 degrees and at 7 o'clock. Now it's 43 degrees. Ain't that crazy? Hmm. Interesting. So... Being your motherfucking self is key. And I think that's what, and I know that's what made YouTube thrive. So now I call it they too because it's like Hollywood is trying to take over and trying to censor a lot of, and like make instruction around. Like basically the old Hollywood days is trying, they trying to, I said that, I said, I'm going to hurry up and start my YouTube channel before it come a point where you have to apply or something like that to have a YouTube world or you have to pay to start a YouTube channel. Like, I think they're going to start making motherfuckers pay to start their channel. And I never want to say that on here because I never want to get to no ideas, but start the shit now. They starting to tax more, y'all. They starting to put fees on shit. Get shit while the getting is good now, y'all. Make sure that you go ahead and take advantage of things now while they're happening, while it's available because, you know, things are getting taxed. Everything is being taxed. I bet they're going to start saying invest in air, invest in oxygen, okay? Like, y'all like, oh, ha, 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 invest in air, invest in oxygen. Ha, 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 y'all didn't think they ever say invest in water and reinvest in water. And let me tell you something. It's a movie, an old school movie that, you know, have a lot of things. Like, it was the first, like, that old school movie had, uh, 
you know how the cars now we have the the screen and we have the TV in the car, like the FaceTime. This movie already had FaceTime in the cars, okay? This was Total Recall, 1990, 80 something, 89 maybe, or 90, early 90s movie, okay? They had already had the FaceTime in the cars. So, you know, a lot of things they were doing already there, like, um, doing, help, uh, planting different people's consciousness and stuff like that. Like, they had Quag, you know what I'm saying? Like, they had him as a different, he didn't know who he was. Before they he had went under, they had put different consciousness in him. Like that shit going on for real. Like when they be talking about people getting cloned and shit. Like that shit happened on for real. And so like a lot of shit that they say when happens happening. And like also in that movie, it was on Mars and they was in like a dome. And the dome was the air oxygen projected by big fans. And when the fans stopped rolling, they were suffocating. Cause they can't breathe out of the, they were out of the atmosphere, okay? Like I said, they're on Mars. So in order to have life on Mars, they built a dome where oxygen was in there, even though it was some aliens in there. Mutants and stuff. You know what I'm saying? They was only able to breathe by this fan. Now, I said that to say, that goes to show, they will charge a motherfucking ass to breathe, okay? And while they were corrupting that dome on Mars, it was a scene where you could see, like, most of Mars on the scene. And you've seen other domes. And you've seen people in those domes. So, it's like different worlds on one planet. The dome that they were talking about was the poor dome. Was the dome where all the street shit go on. All the hustling and shit, like, right? The nightlife and strippers and prostitutes and pimps and all that stuff, right? And killing and stuff. The other domes, you can see that they were classy, upscale. You know what I'm saying? Like, different fucking communities classification classism you know what i'm saying so y'all there'll be a lot of shit going on and you need y'all hear about these i ain't gonna say too much about what i'm talking about but these two ladies had got uh two shots they was in the hospital and y'all already know what i'm talking about i ain't gotta go off into what kind it was okay you already know but they um uh, you know let's just say it's new on the market okay I'm not even trying to sip coffee for that one but sip coffee Okay, they said them ladies or them four, I ain't gonna say ladies, but it was four employees. They said four of them employees had their heart started racing and heart started racing and, um, oh, tingling. And you know, if you're allergic to anything, tingling usually mean like a nerve, but not saying allergic is no nerve reaction is allergic, but. I'm just saying, allergic reaction causes tingling, and also if you like pinch the nerve or something like that, that also causes tingling sensation. So I don't know what it had done to them, but it caused their body to tingle. So maybe I'm thinking more so like an allergic reaction. But um, it was like all of them had that. All of them experienced that. Three is recovering fine. One of them is still under medical attention. They also said somewhere else it wasn't as dramatic as their symptoms was, but their symptoms was. Uh, nausea, nauseated, and something with their eye. Uh, was it eye itching or something like that? I don't know. It was something, but I know they were nauseated or something like that, right? Irritated the eye or some shit. I forgot. But yeah, I used to tease my. Uh, well, I ain't gonna say tease, but as a little child, my um, kindergarten teacher used to mock her. She would have her coffee. I was like in preschool, I went in kindergarten, I think. And she would have her coffee. Her name was Miss Cook. She would drink her coffee. Mm. And then such and such and such and sit there and go and do the. Like, that's how she would do. She would drink her coffee like a whole bunch. Her mouth would blow up like a blowfish. And then she would drink it. Stay like big gulps, though. I ain't want to drink up all my coffee like that, but she did that every single motherfucking morning. And she probably, now they come think of Miss Cook, probably like, I got these damn preschoolers I'm dealing with, or I don't know, preschoolers or kindergartners um, I'm dealing with. <laughs> I need my morning motherfucking coffee and big gulps. And she had her long tin cup. And my mom had bought me a tea set. And I asked my mom, could she fill it up with coffee? She said, yeah. See, I was in kindergarten. 
Her mom gave me the black coffee. I must have put the ad. I also got the coffee from my great grandma. I was always with my great grandma. My mama, that's what baby said to me. My mama went to work. I mean, my great grandma and her brown cup would have her coffee. So, with her cream and shit like that, I used to watch her coffee. I used to love. For some reason, I was fascinated with the black coffee turn brown. I love the way it looked. Like, I was just really fascinated when I used to see my grandma stirring there. It. it was just like that. Oh, the black turn of brown was just so fascinating to me. And. <laughs> I used to do that my mama, but I was like, oh my God. And I remember thinking that feeling like, oh my God, can I believe my mama just let me, just said, yes, I can have coffee. My mama made the coffee and let me have it. And I was playing my tea set. Or if I didn't have the coffee, I'd go back and forth to the bathroom. She said, I'd be sweating, running back and forth to the bathroom uh, with the pitcher and the water, <laughs> with the tea, whatever the teapot is, whatever. Filling up with water, going back. I remember feeding my bears and stuff and teddy bears and dolls and shit that was sitting around the table. Whatever. We was having the tea time. Coffee time, water time, whatever. When it was water, it was tea. When it was, well, we had our coffee though. And I used to mock my teacher at the te at the desk, drinking my coffee like that. Okay, and my mom used to be like, my mom had noticed me doing that and would laugh at me. I was like, what are you doing? And I was like, like Miss Cook, drinking my coffee like Miss Cook. This was I was. These were my Flint, y'all. These was Flint days. That's a lion T where I'm from, where I was born. Flint, yes, Flint made me. Detroit raised me, if you didn't already know. If you're new to this channel, also, if you're new to this channel, do something that's free. You know what I'm saying? Get, throw me a little freebie. Feel free to give, you know what I'm saying? Be in the Hollywood. Not the Hollywood. No, not the Hollywood. But the holidays cheer, okay? Be in good holiday cheer. And tis the motherfucking season to subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. You know what I'm saying? It's a free gift. You don't have to waste your money on packaging it up. You don't have to waste your money on stamps and sending it to me. All you have to do is hit the little, uh, how you do it? Let me see. Uh, if I'm on somebody, I hit the little square to minimize it. Yeah, this is the little square to minimize it. Boom. And go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There you go. Turn that motherfucking blue word red, okay? And, hmm, if your hands ain't too motherfucking full, if you ain't too busy, go ahead and take your time to click that bell. Not the gray outline, not the one that ain't got shit on it, but the one that's filled in with gray. Click on that one, so that's way every time I come on and drop a vid and some shit come up in my mind, boom, it's yours to have, yours to keep, you know what I'm saying? So look, y'all. I ain't got that much time on here. I only got 17 minutes. I'm already 12 minutes in. I want her to get some work in. I can't drag this. Little... I can't tear it too long on here, like they say in the church, right? Don't tear it too long. So, I want to also give the message that besides it's okay to isolate yourself. Besides the fact that it's okay to isolate yourself, I want you to not have to explain yourself to no motherfucking body. Start practicing that shit. Say less. Alright? Everything ain't meant to be said. Keep some shit to yourself. If you cheat on that nigga, do not disturb his motherfucking peace. And tell him you cheat on him? Why would you do that? He's happy. He's in bliss. You know? Just don't come up pregnant with somebody else's baby or bring him back nothing. You feel me? Or ain't nobody crazy. Something about, if I can't have you, nobody can. You feel me? Just don't, don't, don't be letting nobody in your business, basically. But, don't tell that nigga nothing. It's not his business. Keep something for yourself. I always feel good because you never know how long that ride out did. You always be like, yeah, I always kept that that way because people use shit against you. Or you think you told again, you, you, the thing that you said against yourself, use that as an advantage and like manipulate the situation by, you know, doing whatever they've been wanting to do, but based off the grounds of what they, you know, have came to realization about. You feel me? Oh, my toenail. Oh. Yeah, I got to hang now. I need to go get my feet pedicured. That shit hurt it. Yeah, I got to go get my feet done. So, yeah. Keep that shit to your motherfucking self. 
Especially if you're a lady. Ladies are supposed to have something to keep it herself. That's just being a lady. Okay. Being a lady is just keeping some shit to your motherfucking self. Alright. Not sharing your shit with everybody and let everybody, you know what I'm saying? Just be exclusive. You know what I mean? Be exclusive. Start start paying attention to people's motherfucking actions. People are always putting people on the pedestal on this earth like, oh, he's a pastor. Like the pastor who in rebirth or new birth or whatever birth, after birth, okay? They trying to go in on him, talk about some he motherfucking a pastor fucking around. First of all, the Bible told y'all, same people who follow him, okay? Because you ain't supposed to follow him. So we follow the rules of Christ, okay? But anyway, that's another story. You ain't supposed to be following him. And the Lord already said, what, uh, tr trust no man. So why the fuck would you trust him? It's clearly said, trust no motherfucking man. And you getting mad because it ain't no man without sin. Ain't nobody without sin. Ain't nobody perfect. And then the scriptures done told you that too. And y'all still want to be, oh my God, he's fucking around. He's having all these babies. Y'all be praising these motherfucking niggas. Stop praising these motherfucking people. Stop it. Y'all be praising the morning. Y'all be praising the Lord. Y'all be honoring them and honoring the Lord. Y'all talk to them and treat them better than y'all own husbands and y'all own kids. They get way more respect in the church. The deacons and the people in the church get more respect than you get your own motherfucking family. Like, that shit is ridiculous. I'm mad I'm touched on this so late. And I'm about to get off of here. But keep that in motherfucking mind, too. Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you hit me up in the comments. Use a hater. You want to click that down button? Do me a favor. Check them all out. Deuces.